Hey YouTube, it's Judy. So I just filmed a tutorial for this look. It was highly loved on Instagram when I did it. So I thought I'd redo it for my channel because I loved it. Um, I know it is summertime, but I love the kind of vampy lip. I think it's still wearable for summertime, right? Because it's a little, it's a little ombre. I can't do ombre too much because my lips are a little, but I did try it. And I love the pop of blue in the waterline and it's amazing. So yeah, if you like to see how I did it, stay tuned. Hey guys, so the rest of this video will be a talk over because my kids were in the room while I was doing my makeup. But we're going to start off by priming our eyebrows. Um, that kind of just, to me, in my head, makes me feel like your eyebrows last longer. And then taking the e.l.f. Um, cream Gel Liner in Coffee, we are going to define our eyebrows. And this is using a little Anastasia brush that I have. I think it's a mini version of the number 12 brush. So basically working really, really slowly and in short strokes you I outline outline my brows and then I fill them in working first on the tail end while the most product is on my brush and then working on the front with when I have the least amount of product on my brush that way you kind of have that gradient effect and it doesn't look too harsh and then you just comb out with this spoolie so it doesn't look um, all fake and wrap Using the e.l.f. Complete Coverage Concealer Quad in light, I use that to clean up my brows with an e.l.f. Um, concealer brush. I don't do it every time I do my brows, but definitely when I'm doing a bold statement kind of makeup, I definitely clean up my brows. And then using the e.l.f. Clear Brow Gel, Brow Lash Gel, I use that to set my brows. Okay, so now both brows are done, and then we're going to take Salted Caramel from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and put that all above your crease, um, a little bit above your crease, with a nice big fluffy blending brush. And this just helps um, to give a nice gradient effect. And then I put um, Foxy from the Naked Basics Palette. I, like, I wanted my eyelids to be nice and bright. And then with a more tapered blending brush, we're going to put faint. And that's just, you just put it a notch under where you put that original color, your transition color, just so you can have a nice smoky effect. And just the key to this is to blend, blend your heart out. And then with an even more tapered, smaller, precision blending brush, we're going to add Crave to the outer V. Um, I don't like how, I don't think this is as black as I wanted it to be, but it still kind of gave you that really nice smoky effect. Maybe even like a daytime smoky eye since it's not so dark. So yeah, you just um, blend it in circular motions and windshield wiper motions in the crease. So you have to make sure it's nice and smoked out. And this is why I always do my eyes first, because of fallout. So here all we're doing is brightening up that foxy color because we might have lost some of that intensity while blending, but we just add it back. And we're just going to keep on blending, so a lot of this look is blending. And then taking um, a walk of shame, I believe, and putting that on my brow bone and just blending that out so it's um, nice and smooth. And then I use the Lorac Pro Eyeliner to do a wing. You guys know I cannot do that on camera. 
So now I'm taking the Urban Decay 24-7 liner in Chaos and putting that all in my waterline. It is an amazing blue. I swear it's the, I have all of their 24-7 liners and I swear this is the one that I have used the most. Um, so yeah, I just kind of kept building it up so it is uh, really intense. Um, and then we are going to smudge out the color Hate, H-A-I-G-H-T, on the lower lash line. And just these two colors together are amazing. Like, in the pan, it might look like a nice teal color, but it comes off, I mean, I guess it does come off teal, but just these two colors together are phenomenal. Phenomenal. And then I'm taking, um... Venus from the Naked Bailey's palette and using that to brighten up my inner tear ducts and just of course blending that out so it's nice and seamless and then using um, this bubblegum sugar scrub scrub by Lush I am going to exfoliate my lips because I am going to use matte lip colors and hello Eli and I'm just using this Matchbox Photo Finish Primer to prime my face. Before I wasn't too crazy about this primer, but now I really do see a difference. Maybe I wasn't just paying attention. And now using my Revlon Color Stay Foundation. Uh, I forget my color, but I will list it below. I'm going to dot that all over my face because it does give me a flawless finish. And blending that out with the Beauty Blender. I didn't want nothing too heavy because it is summertime. So... Yeah, just blend that out all over your face, girl. Make sure to get by the ears and stuff. And then just using the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish, I'm going to just set it, set all of that with a big fluffy brush. <laughs> Eli's here, so if you hear any extra narration, it is definitely him. And then using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, I'm going to use it in two ways. I'm going to use it first to bronze up my skin. Um, so just bronze up where you normally would. If you guys have questions about any brushes I use, just leave them below and I can let you know. And then using a more kind of um, precision brush, I'm going to use that to definitely... Um, definitely or to define my cheekbones and contour my nose just a little bit I don't do too I don't do harsh contouring because I have a little nose but I just think it pulls everything together and then using the fox in the box blush I'm going to put some blush on my cheeks hi Eli Eli now wants to talk so yeah You just blend that out and now using their real mascara I am going to um, prep my lashes for lashes is that what you say prep my lashes for maybe falsies maybe the better term but yeah so there you go I actually already added the falsies they're just a pair of dollar falsies by elf and now for my lips I'm going to add the color talk that talk by the um, Riri Hearts Matte Collection on the kind of the outside of my lips um, kind of lining the tops and then kind of filling in the actual sides and if you don't if you miss out on this collection I think Night Moth Lip Liner will give you the same effect So now taking Ri Ri Woo, I am going to put that all in the center of my lip. Um, yeah, I love this mixture. I feel it looks like, I don't know, like you, I don't know, very vampy. Um, and then using that same concealer that I use for my brows, I am going to clean it up so it's nice and crisp. Um, you don't want it to be messy at all. And since I use lipstick like a lip liner, it wasn't perfect, you know. So yeah, and if you, of course, if you miss out on Riri Woo, you can always use Ruby Woo or any other red you have in your collection. And I really think um, you should do matte because I think it looks amazing. And then using that Beauty Blender, I'm just blending everything out so it doesn't look like a harsh blending lining stuff. And I'm going to just set all that powder with the Max Fix Plus because I wasn't going anywhere. And yeah, this is the final look. I hope you guys like it. Hey, 
you go and until next time please thumbs up this video if you liked it and yeah bye guys